Hi, thanks for stopping by Angel Gilding. I'm Alex, and today's quick tip video is all about first surface versus second surface mirrors, how to tell the difference, and how to decide which one is right for your particular project. So when we talk about surfaces, we mean the surface that you're mirroring. Traditionally, when you hear the word mirror, you think of a glass mirror, and it's true, a lot of mirrors are made with glass, but it doesn't have to be only glass. We'll, tell, we'll talk a little bit more about what those differences are and, and how that affects what type of process you use. So first, let's think of, once again, that traditional mirror made with glass. You can see here that when you hold this glass up to the wall, you know, when I attach it to my wall and I'm looking at it, I'm looking through the glass to the other side that has been silvered and just like any process with mirroring that silver needs to be protected so on this mirror it's protected with my black mirror backing paint so I'm looking at this piece through the glass to the second surface the back surface which has been silvered so a traditional mirror is a second surface mirror so of course my glass in order to see the silvering needs to be clear. The alternative is what we call a second surface mirror. Now, this piece is what's called a speed shape. Pretty popular, pretty common, especially in the automotive world. It's just a piece of plastic. You can tell here it's an opaque white plastic. And if I silver it on the opposite side of it, you wouldn't be able to tell because it's opaque. So what I've done here is I spray silvered it and just like I said, in any silvering or mirroring process, you need to protect that mirroring. And so for this piece, I used my clear Unicoat and I wanted to get a gold finish. So I tinted that clear Unicoat with yellow. So I'm actually looking at the silver that has been protected with the clear coat. There's no intermediary substrate, no glass or anything between me and the silver. So this is a front surface mirror. Now, a lot of times in mirroring we talk about silver and silver is certainly the most popular but as you can see from our website you can also create a mirror with gold copper or galena one of the key differences is that silver is the only one of those mirroring chemicals that can be both poured on and sprayed on and that's just about the chemistry and how it develops so here on this mirror once again this is a silver mirror and i silvered the second surface of it if I wanted to make a gold mirror in the same way, I could do that. We know that angel gilding is the term used for two layers of gold backed with silver. So if I were to look at this piece through the glass, I'd be looking at those two layers of gold. And then behind those would be the layer of silver. And that's what makes that opaque gold really show through. And then the final layer would be that mirror backing paint to protect that. So I could do that with gold, with copper, with galena, or with silver. However, for a front surface mirror like this, I need to spray it on. This is a 3D object, and I can't just pour it on the reverse side like I can with glass. So for this, I use silver. Now, like I said, I wanted a gold finish, so I tinted it with yellow. If I wanted a blue finish, I could tint it with blue. And in fact, you can see here, these pieces were both done with spray silver on the outside, and I wanted kind of a rosy red, so I tinted the clear coat with red. So that's basic explanation between the front surface and the second surface mirror. If you have any additional questions on this or any ideas on other videos you'd like to see, be sure to put those in the comment box below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to be notified of all of our future videos. Thanks for stopping by.